Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Witcher 3. We're here on the beach of Velen to find a missing transport somewhere in the world. Um, so where are we going to find it? I don't, well, there's that golden arrow over there. I was going to say I have no idea. That's not actually true. What I do want to try to find also is, of course, what we're always looking for, which is Bella's fruit. Um, so hard to tell where that's actually going to be. In the meantime, though, let's go ahead and wander about. I thought that was what I picked. What did I pick, actually? Okay, more get out of petals. Some critters over there. That doesn't really concern me. I'm not being paid to be concerned about it. So let's just go over here and finish up the quest we are actually getting paid for. Find some bellows fruit. Great. If we don't, well, maybe we'll find it eventually. Blowball. It's been a while since we found that. Looks like there's a critter here. What is this? It's moving kind of fast. Drowners oh, and the hello. water hag. My favorites. There's a water hag here. I don't see one. Okay. Drown her down to three hits. I don't see the water hag. Oh. Okay, now that's another drummer. Alright, well, at least they're nice about coming at me one at a time. Anybody else? Yep, there's a water hag. Oh! Dodge. Well, to explain where the thing is. Holy. Nope. Go ahead and burn her. Yeah, that distracted her. Okay, there we go. Take your stuff, get the water, and whatever else. Yeah, if the, uh, the Drowners got the shipment, might not have even made it to town, much less anywhere else. Alright, let's look around. Don't see anything here, but it's so hard to tell. Oh, okay. Yep, we got ourselves some marks. Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. Well, at least where they might have started. Oh. I got my foot caught. Oh, there we go. Problem was, I've tried to feed my foot up, and I got it mixed up with the mouse. I don't think I disconnected anything, though, so we're good. It'd be really funny if now you couldn't hear me. Let me go ahead and test that just for a second and see that I have not actually disrupted anything. I did not. Okay, good. Always so dangerous, I got to make sure not to put my feet up in the weird space. Okay, so what do we got? Trash going which way though? I would guess. So the mini map kind of seems to indicate they're going that way. Is that how the shape works out there? Yeah, that's totally what's working out. Okay. Okay. Well, fast travel. Yeah, could do that. I'm not gonna. Keep following the tracks though. We got white myrtle. No, hop umbles. Okay. And then they went off the road. Why did you go off the road? What possibly good reason do you have for going off the road? You're supposed to be going and delivering it to the nice little witch lady whose name I totally forget right now. Is it Freya or something like that? Freya is actually somebody else's name, isn't it? I mean, I will go here for the sweat mushrooms. Yeah. All right. Why'd you go off the road? You're taking a nice little shortcut. This does not look like a nice little place to be, though. No creatures here, but... Oh, hold on. Spoke too soon. There's a bunch of creatures. Okay. Veered off the road at high speed. Doesn't bode well. Oh, they were going... They were running from something. Maybe thieves? Why would you run off the road to deal with thieves? That doesn't make any sense. You should have good guards... Or maybe the horses got spooked. Yeah, that would make sense. If the driver got killed or yeah, something. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was going to end well. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, actually. Why was he traveling alone? He should have had guards. Okay, well, we'll see if there's any the action. Dry red from Zubaran. Southern slope. Notes of black currant and citrus. Oh, okay. Uh, pains the heart. We're going to... Use our Witcher sense to attract the smell. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepis. Wonder what spell requires that. Is it spell stuff or just foodstuffs? My guess is going to be foodstuffs. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff here. 
specimen from an artery. Oh. Can't be far. Wouldn't have made it. Yeah, my guess is we're going to find his body not too far away here. And hey, look, there's a rot fiend. Only level 6, though. Which probably means the body is going to be pretty much where the rot feeds feeding, right? I appreciate it if you don't try to kill me. Thank you kindly. And I'll just take all your stuff. Monster bone, rot fiend blood. And then I'm assuming... Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit here. Assuming the body... Yeah, there's the body right there. Hit and waited for help. It never came. That's Velen for you. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, let merchant's letter. Volker, we've hit gold, old friend. Not only have we sold all of our stock, we have sold it for three times its cost. Our customer wants it all. Wine from Buclair, everything from... Bujas, no view. I'm pronouncing that wrong. To the oldest vintages, white, red rose, you name it. Cut of bulkless meat, pickled beef, pepper, cinnamon, cloves. I'm telling you, old friend, everything. One catch, however, must deliver the goods to Velen, to a village called the Midcopes. I know, I know, dangerous, what with the war and all, but think of the coin. Imagine a secure pass that will get you across the Pontar, then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and you're there. You'll be fine. Hope <laughs> the priest proceeds 50 50. Never made it, though. 80% of nothing is still nothing. I mean, I need to check the math on that, but I'm pretty sure. Find ingredients from the missing transport. Okay. Well, we found the missing transport, but not the ingredients. At least not all of them. Okay, there's something here. Package. There we go. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic, though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Yeah, because it's a weird... It's very weird, right? Kira, that's her name. It's very weird that she said it was. She said it was alchemical ingredients, but you need at least one thing magical in a potion in order to make it work. So we bring it back to her. Yeah, she's just down there. But first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and visit a lot of these question marks. So this one's first on our list. Let's go ahead and do that one. If, if it's nothing magical, I can't imagine it being urgent. It's probably just, you know, her latest shipment of wine. Okay. Just a renegade. We can totally deal with that. Let's roll around a little bit here, so... If we don't have... Okay, we've got a bunch of people here, actually. Oh, hello. Why don't you guys have some fire? Man, slice that guy right now. I have a lot of runes on my sword here, so they're going to end in a bad way. Oh, Renegade Leader is out. And we'll deal with Archer. Archer first. Shut up and fight. And maybe drink some water. Okay, and then we got a... I think this is the last guy here. We got to parry this guy. One more hit should do it. Yep, Perry worked out totally well, and he got beheaded for his trouble. Okay. So obviously we're gonna loot these guys. Hopefully get everything. And then there should be a person in distress down that way, I suppose. Bandits notes. No bastards must have coins coming out of their arses. They buy every peasant I capture, no matter if he's lean, cross-eyed, or dumb as a rotten stump. Never had a girl neither. Need folk for the silver mine, they say. No one ever lasts more than two months there anyway, so every hand it helps. Fine by me, business is good. Only thing worrying me is that soon I'll have coddled the peasants around, and then who will I sell? Well, you don't need to worry about that, because you're dead. Loot your stuff. You're pretty much just junk, right? This is pretty low-level stuff. I mean, they are level 6, so that actually totally makes sense. Oh, right, we were going to hit level 12 and then go talk to that... Dwarf in um, in Crow's Perch, because he seems to make stuff according to our level. Um, yeah, we're only still starting on level 12 here, so yeah, let's go ahead and rescue this guy. But yeah, Crow's Perch is where we need to go for soon. Thank you, bastard. You saved my life. You ever come through Claywitch, you give us a holler. I'll shave ye and shear ye for free. Um, what if I never want a haircut though? But okay. Sure, I mean, the last time, I mean, we practically were growing out the beard already. I suppose if the beard grows wild, we might want to fix that up, I guess. 
I don't know if that's even a thing. Oh, there's a fast travel. Hangman's Alley. Didn't even realize. Alright, I would expect drowners that close to the ocean. Could be wrong. Is there anything here I need to get here? Let's look at Wisher Sense. Yep. We'll loot that. Loot that. A whole bunch of stuff to loot. Longsword. I mean, Longsword's probably just junk. At the very least, we can sell it. We will even get back up to a thousand. That'd be nice. Oh, you know what? We did pick up Assassin's Trousers, didn't we? I suppose I should look to see if anything was better than what I'm currently using. I mean, it seems unlikely because the quest is so low level, but you never know. They could actually make it so that the items scale with your level. Don't always do that, but some games do. Alright, that should be everything there, and then, yep, there you go. Blackjack, Demirium, Alchemy Paste, okay. Cool. Anything in here? No. Anything over here? Yep, there we go. If I don't take everything, then it's just gonna show up on the uh, on the map as something you need to look at. Oh, armor's repair kit. I mean, I haven't actually repaired any armor lately. Should still be pretty high level, though. I would think. Still an armor's repair kit. Lots of armor repair kits. Water, appreciate that. Crowns. Really just one crown. Hardened leather, which I could use to make something theoretically. Chain, I have no idea. And then a bunch of stuff over here. Other side of that, then. Pure silver and diamond dust. One crown. I don't know, man. The one crown thing hardly seems worth it. A lot of armor repair kits, though. And a lot of blackjacks. Okay, we good? That everything? We have one more thing here. There we go. It's that everything. That was the door. And then we went clear way around. Okay. North it is, then. It is getting pretty late. But I'm curious when dusk actually is. Or when, you know, I mean, I guess this would be almost dusk. Band in sight. Oh, good. Actually, this is fantastic. Um, a little earlier than I meant to do. Yeah, I'm near the other question mark that I didn't mean to go to yet. But that could be good because that could mean we'll get an alchemist and he might actually have things we want. Probably going to be some bandits here, so steel sword out. And we'll see. Nobody here yet. Oh, there you guys are. Hello. Kill if you love the gods. Pirate, huh? They were distracted by the fire. You think, you know, their morale would hurt there? Oh, yep, his morale hurts. He's dead. And then suddenly it's bright and sunny. Well, if you guys don't mind cleaning up the bodies, it's totally yours. Okay, well, that worked. Got a little bit of experience for that. Please tell me there's an alchemist. Oh, I don't see an alchemist. Okay, well, at least we can take this stuff off these guys. Theoretically. Yeah, loot your stuff, loot your stuff. Should be two more guys? One there, and then one... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't see an alchemist. Well, it was worth a shot. There could have been one. There isn't always an alchemist in a liberated site, but often. It's playing the odds. Didn't pan out. That's okay. It'll pan out next time, hopefully. So what do you think this is? Probably going to be... Yeah, treasure is what I'm about to say. Okay. Probably going to be drowners. It says hidden treasure, not guarded treasure, though. And sure enough, there don't appear to be any guards. Water damage letter. Okay. I know you don't smuggle no more. That you set plenty of coin. And ain't interested in the risk. Just want to enjoy time with your wife and kitties. But I gotta ask you a favor. Gotta move one more load, and it's the last. I promise. Simple job. Couple of chests, risk minimals, reward substantial. Please do it. Not for the gold. At least for old time's sake. Well, that seems dangerous, but sure. 
Find the sunken treasure. Okay, so this again is a point that we need. Seems like we would need a killer whale potion, which we don't have. The hell can you find belay's fruit? That's the real question, isn't it? I'm just worried about drowners, but maybe, maybe, maybe no drowners would be there. The trouble is we can't use our swords nor our um, nor our magic when you're in the water. But the thing is, I don't think Killer Whale Potion will actually solve that problem. All it does is increase your uh, breath meter so you don't need to worry so much about, you know, breathing. So, it also might make you a little faster in the water. If it makes you faster in the water, that alone might make it possible to dodge around the drowners and get to what you want to get to. But I don't know for sure. So, let's try it. I mean, chances are this is going to be pretty low level anyway, so they might not be able to hurt us too much. That's the hope. Should we try to get a boat, though? Boat might not be a bad idea. Where's the nearest boat? Um, nowhere. How about nowhere? Nowhere work for you? Nowhere doesn't work for you? How surprising. Um, there are no nearby boats. Unless I'm just missing it. Oh, well, there's a boat there, but it's on totally the wrong side because that does not go clear through. Oh, there's a boat, but yeah, not in a good spot. Well, we could try working our way down the coast to get to that boat and once we get the boat we go all the way back up yeah yeah we could try it I don't know if it'll work I mean the other theory is that we could just swim out there we don't technically have to dive until we get into the region I'm gonna try that let's try that let's go ahead and save first just in case something goes horribly wrong of course put your sword away and yeah, let's just go ahead and swim out there. We might encounter drowners, maybe, maybe not. I do see a red mark. Two red marks. So drowners are out there. But we might be able to avoid them, we'll see. Okay, so now we're in the area. And die. Hello, drowner. Um, let's see, what's your senses? There we go. Got the crowns. Uh, something else to loot, though. Is that it? And a runestone. Anything else? The drowners apparently stay pretty close to the surface. So that's weird. I can swim swiftly. That is going to cause my breath to go down. Okay, that was apparently it. They're not going to chase us very far. So, yeah. That's it. Killer Whale Potion, totally not even an issue. Alright. So maybe that other thing, we just go past the Drowners and dive deep enough, they don't even bother us. I didn't even realize that was going to be that simple. You ever thought it was going to be complex? Okay, well. And we barely took any damage from that. I mean, our armor is probably worse for wear. That's totally fair, but... Yeah, we barely took any damage at all look around here for the proper herbs just to make sure yeah there we go rib leaf let's see if there's anything oh a little spain okay i was hoping for you know delays but that's never gonna happen apparently until i find an alchemist hopefully one of these other ones is also an abandoned site and they'll have an alchemist and we'll better do something with it I suppose i could look around so what does the abandoned site look like after you're done with it it looks like that. Okay, we should have a couple of those somewhere else, right? Like down here? Yeah, yeah, this one here. Oh, getting down there is going to be a pain in the arse, though, isn't it? Yeah, because the nearest fast travel is down in Frischlo. Um, I mean, we could just walk down there. There are a lot of question marks along the way. So theoretically... Pass mid cups and go all the way down. Could work. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just keep doing all the question marks, right? Because there's a lot of them here. 
They could hold something really good. Or there could be another abandoned site. Hidden treasure. Also guarded treasure at that. Because there are some drowners here. They're probably, what, level 4? Is that what I just saw? Yeah, level 4. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh. Okay, says and then gets hit immediately. There we go. Is that it? That looks like it. Okay, well, that's nice and simple. Appreciate that. Okay, what do we got in terms of things we can loot? Oh, right. Drowner had some stuff, alright. Whereas you are a smuggler. Those were the days. You'd smuggle a few bottles, hooch, and oxen for it, then loiter about the dormitory selling to students. Come with a hefty sack of coin, they've had the spirits fortified for study. Along came Radovid, who shut down the university, chased the students away, and poisoned Bliss, or position, not poison, Bliss down the riverbank to sink everything floating up or down Pontor, swans included. There's not been a dark cloud yet that didn't have a silver lining. Yesterday I saw a brave soldier sink a merchant vessel. Went straight to the bottom it did, along with its whole crew and its cargo. Shame about the men, really, but it would just be a big shame to let those goods go to waste. Yeah, except you got taken down by drowners. Costly mistake indeed. Oh, shit. That's a high-level quest. So not something we can do? What level is it? How high-level is high-level? 18. Six levels above me. That's definitely a problem. Yeah. I mean, technically speaking... Once you get below the Drowners level, but it's possible there's something other than Drowners that we need to worry about. So let's not do that then. Let's go ahead and go to the other question marks, which are here. That looks a little far away. I think we should wait for a boat before we do that one. Or at least an alternate method to get there. I'm not entirely sure what that would be yet, though. But anyway, the question marks on land are plentiful enough that we don't need to worry about the ones in the water yet. So pretty sure I saw a um, sign of a monster around here. Did I make that up? Oh, that's what I saw over there. Well, I mean, if there's something over there, like that would that was a sign of a question mark there. I'm pointing in the right direction. Yep. Yeah, it looks like where that where that ship is split in twain there. How do we get there? We do some island hopping, maybe. Oh, what is this? Some red fungus? Blood moss. Yeah, okay. Might be useful. You never know. The little crabs. Those look cool. They even did them properly. They walk sideways. That's awesome. Okay, hand fiber is good. White myrtle, too. It looks a lot closer than it does on the map, doesn't it? It looks like you totally swim over there. Looks more like you'd even just wade over there, but that's probably... It's probably an illusion, right? Save, just in case something goes horribly wrong. I'll come over this way there. I think there were drowners on this island, right? That's what I saw. Oh, no, they're just drowners everywhere. Yeah. That's a problem. It means just, it won't be a simple swim, that's for sure. They'll come try to grab me. I mean, they will drag me down a little bit, but... No, no, I think I think I was right before. I think we wait for a boat. Because it's apparently a slightly higher level, at least out in the islands it will be. Out in the ocean. Now, if it's 18 to go find that one little piece, who knows what it's going to be elsewhere. So the safe option is just to get a boat. But we don't want things out in the water, we want things on the island. So, yeah. Boat's better. Bandit camp. Okay. Chance to test out our steel sword here. Hello, random deserters who probably don't want to talk. Well, they might be okay with talking. Piss off, or you still got or not. Nope. They don't want to talk. Okay. Oh, wow. One of those guys just died. Oh, and that guy did not die well. 
He was split in twain. I like the word twain. Hatchet. And there we go. That's what we're looking for. Dreaming's weapon repair kit. Kovori Cutlass. Enhancing Wind Venom. Tracker boots. You know what? We haven't actually checked to see whether or not the stuff we've grabbed recently is better than what we have. Anything else here? Or is that it? You know what? We should extinguish the fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. And if you don't have magic, you should use water instead. But, you know, whatever you got to be able to put out forest fires, you should probably use. And this stuff's just random trade goods, but still useful. But they were just hanging around these guys they killed. That is not cool, man. That is not cool at all. All right. Well, that's that question mark taken care of. Um, we should go in a little bit, right? Handle everything north first and we're going to work our way south. That makes sense. Let's go that way. So we don't get interrupted. No monsters in sight. 10.14 a.m. it says. Oh wait, let's just make sure we didn't pass some Bailey's fruit in our way around. That is Portineris, and this is also the same? Yeah. Okay, just some mushrooms, no big. I don't remember where Bailey's fruit is anymore. I suppose we could go back to the first region where it was everywhere, and I managed to sell a bunch of it, but I didn't know I was going to use it. But by now, all those things should be refreshed, right? Respawn. I don't know how you want to deal. Okay, guarded by what, though? We're going to save. It's so hard to tell. A lot of them could be necrophages. So let's go ahead. Oh, nope, nope, nope. These are the, um, these are the insect guys. Okay, that's, that's actually fine. They don't respond well to fire, so let's try to get them out of here. This might be just workers. I don't see any soldiers in here. Unless I'm just missing them. But yeah, it looks like workers. Hello, workers. I'd like to come over here, please? You would. That's actually great. Thank you. Oh, okay, you've been here a little bit. That's fine. I mean, not really, but it's gonna happen. A little random worker. Three hits take down these workers. That's pretty good. And one. Oh, there's a warrior. Okay. Well, how about fire? You like fire? I oh, don't like fire. Amazing. Somehow I dodged that. Oh, I did not dodge that one though. Yep, I agree with you. We got poisoned. But that's it. You're still poisoned? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, we're good. Okay, well, it was guarded, but now it's not. Oh, I think it's the first time we got shit in a shell there. Lots of venom extract, lots of... What was that? I thought I saw embryo, though. That was weird. No, Andrew got heart. That's probably what I saw. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Green mutagen. Makes sense guys are green, I suppose, or giving off a lot of green. Yeah, Andrega Embryo. That I did actually see that. Okay, well, I'm assuming that's useful for something. Enhanced Petri's Filter. I don't even know what Petri's Filter is. And more Horse Blinders. Stravaga Runestone. And then that's it, right? Oh, something here. A smoking pipe. whoop de frickin do Okay, well... That's simple enough. Next question mark down here. And we're going to go ahead and look at the inventory just to make sure what we're currently carrying is not better than what we have. So far, there doesn't seem to be any chance of that. Do have to occasionally remember we do have a ranged weapon that I have just not been using. Yeah, these are all pretty bad, aren't they? Gonna need to sell all this stuff, too. Well, it'll come in handy. This is high level, but still worse than what I'm currently using. Well, that's good to know, I guess. I think all these are pretty bad. I'm carrying a lot of weapons. Holy shit. Okay, well, how about the armor? Anything good here? Nope. 
Oh, there we go. You can't even tell the difference. Okay, well, I mean, the only difference there is that the slots I was using are now open. Quintessence intensity might not be a bad idea. Hard sign, Yurden sign, Igni sign. Igni sign intensity's probably not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and put that there. So I use Igni pretty much all the time. Quinn, I don't use as much, but Yurden, I definitely do. Let's go ahead and put that in the boots, I guess. And, I mean, between Ard and Quinn, I guess I use Quinn a little bit more than Ard. Um, so we're going to put that there. And then what's this? Axie. I should use Axie more, actually. But no, I should use... Yeah, let's do Ard here. I should use Ard and Axie more. Okay, but everything else is totally fine the way it is, and I can totally sell it. All right. Is there any chance? Yeah, there is, actually. There's a chance we could repair our stuff. Okay. And maybe even sell stuff. Who knows? There's an armorer's table and a grindstone. Doesn't necessarily mean there's actually an armorer there, but it's worth a shot. There's a grindstone there and a blacksmith. Oh, it's an actual blacksmith as opposed to armor's table. Yeah, midcoves might not actually be where we want to go. We might want to go back to black bow. Mm, not yet, though. Well, we'll never be closer than we are now. Yeah, yeah, put your marker down there. Probably a good idea, just to make sure that we're not going to be leaving stuff behind. Plus, our silver sword's back in disrepair. So, you know, if that happens, we'll be defenseless against monsters, or at least doing not as much damage, which is maybe worse. Oh, okay, random person on a horse. Oh, okay. Um, horses, turns out, don't like fire. Don't know if you can do that. Attack me first. Oh, I did not do that well. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, lost your hand. I mean, theoretically, that wouldn't necessarily be fatal. But you would not be enjoying life, that's for sure. Is that another bandit over there? That is totally another bandit over there. Oh, well, all right. You want to fight, too? We can Give do that. Give me no choice. I mean, that basically just scares the horse. It doesn't kill him, though. Oh, but he doesn't need his legs anymore. Because he's dead. Kill him, oh, strip him, dump what the him hell is dead. with these guys? Dude. Oh, you're fucked. oh, did I get a critical hit? Did he get a critical hit? Somebody somewhere got a critical hit. Okay, do you want to deal with this again, or are you going to run away? No, you're not going to run away, huh? That would have been the smart move. I think you just burned to death. Yeah, you just burned that. Okay. Well, they're gone forever. I can try to loot these guys, right? It looks like, yes, taking them off the horse allows me to loot them. Not that they have very much. Where is your stuff? You have another person around here. Where is it? There it is. I do like that they have little fairy lights. Makes it very easy for me to find them. Um, what were these fairy lights for? I don't know. Some raw meat there. Maybe... Oh, it looks like someone killed a rabbit. It was not me. But that makes it very easy to tell what happens when you kill rabbits. You just get meat. I would kind of expect you would get hide as well, but maybe that's random. More Kennedyine petals. Eventually, we're going to have to contact a uh, alchemist, but who knows when that's going to be. So bandits just roam the roads, huh? Are these more of Baron's men? I guess they're not the Baron's men anymore. They'd be Sergeant's men, right? This is a Sergeant's men. That's disappointing. I mean, now that we know the Sergeant's in charge of it, couldn't we do something about it? Anyone I don't know what exactly. Right, let's see if we can actually talk to this guy this time. No. 
I can ignite that though. She needs some light. For some reason, I can't talk to this guy. Did I piss him off at some point? Apparently, just I can't do anything in Blackbow anymore related to armor. Well, there's a there's a shopkeeper over Anyone here. Theoretically, there used to be. Not today, though. Apparently. All right. Well, this has been a wash. There's got to be somewhere else, though. Yeah, I can go to Crow's Perch and do it. Not my best, but then again, did not want to do that anyway because the dwarf had some things that I wanted to buy. Yeah, okay, so we can go to, we can fast travel down to Crow's Perch and then deal with that, I suppose. So, yeah, there's fast travel there. That's disappointing. I don't know why that blacksmith no longer wants to talk to me. I mean, we thought before it was because of the lateness of the day, but now it's like 11 at, well, now it's not 11 a.m. It used to be 11 a.m. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. But theoretically, we can get stuff repaired oh, now. We should have lots of cash. I'm going to not sell anyone any weapons here. Seems like that would be against the rules anyway, right? Doesn't sound like the Baron's men would want the peasants to have access to any weapons. Or I guess the Sergeant's men. I keep making that mistake. Not the Baron's men anymore. He's only a self-proclaimed ruler. He's not actually a Baron. At least that's according to the little intro you get when you start up the game. They tell you that the Baron is self-appointed. Uh, we want armor, right? So, we want armor. Yeah, I think they can repair my weapons too. We'll see. How may I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Okay, first we're gonna do repair work because that'll probably cost the most. So, repair equipped. 117 is not too bad. I don't want to repair any of this stuff because I'm just going to sell it. Move upgrade, I think, destroys the upgrade, not the upgrade, not the item, not the actual sword itself, but the gems or the runes or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's dismantle some of this stuff. So, this is junk, so go ahead and. Holy shit, cost 100 just to do that? Highway freaking robbery. Oh no, there we go. There we go. No, that's just what it sells for. I got you. I got you. I got you. Junk, but magical. Well, do I care if it's magical, if it's just junk? No. No, I do not. 42 to do that, though. That's nuts. That's highway robbery. That's magical, so I'm not going to do anything with that. That is just junk, though. Okay, three crowns is reasonable. I will totally take three crowns. But for a stack of six, starts 288. That is highway robbery. And that's 68. Yeah, no wonder we ran out of cash before. Holy shit. We're going to run out again, unfortunately. Axe head. Yeah, we can just junk that, I guess. We can probably junk that. We're down to 420 already. That's junk. Flowers are junk. Another pelt. Rabbit pelt. 16 for a rabbit pelt? I guess it was a lot of rabbit pelts, but still. But still. It's pretty nuts. One bear hide. 130 crowns. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's taking advantage of me, and I do not appreciate it. Not that I can do much out of it. Okay, that's a crafting component. That's a crafting component. Okay, so I can't actually quick sort here. Okay. Well, that's that's a crafting component. Okay, so anything that says crafting component, we probably don't want to reduce further. Because I might need it the way it is now. Yeah, so that's... Everything's fine here. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and sell him all these swords. Because they're all going to be junk, my guess would be. Yeah, they're all pretty bad. 
Some of them look pretty cool, but unfortunately they're just bad. So let's just sell everything. I think we already checked most of the stuff to make sure that it wasn't better than what we currently had. It goes for the armor too. We should check what armor he has though in case it's something we want. He has 2,000 crowns. I don't think we're gonna be able to bankrupt him or anything just by selling him all the stuff. We should be able to get to about 20 pounds though. You're gonna have all this wonderful stuff. Might even sell you these runes, since I have all the runes I need right now. Go ahead and quick sort for me. And these are lesser runes. Oh, there we go. That's actually a higher or a normal rune. That one too. Oh, a chance to cause burning. If only, if only. Well, that's okay. Next silver sword we do, we can um, we can apply that to that. So. Do I want to just... Yes, yeah, so that's lesser. Let's go and sell off the lesser runes. Gives us 30 crowns. That's pretty good. Yeah, so anything lesser, we're going to give up. Anything that doesn't have a lesser prefix, though. So yeah, that's a regular rune. That's a regular rune. That's a lesser. How about these? That's lesser. And so are those. Both of them can sell. And then go and sell the trousers and the boots and whatever else. Okay, yeah, there we go. Got down to 20 pounds. That's awesome. Okay, so this is level 12. Yeah, so he definitely adjusts his stock to our current level. That's really cool. All right. These are both level 12. The question is, which one do you like more? Or which one can I afford, I guess? That's 482 crowns, which is a lot. 467. Theoretically, the one that costs more is actually going to be better for us. 25% resistance to bludgeoning and slashing, as opposed to this one, which is 20% of bludgeoning and slashing, plus an additional 3% to damage from monsters in general. That actually sounds better. I mean, 3% isn't a lot. But it could mean a significant difference. It's hard to tell. Let's look at any of these other things in here and seeing if there's anything we want. Man, yeah, those are all the swords and weapons that we sold, so whatever. Um, I have no idea if we need any of those crafting things. The other thing would be, well, what crafting can he do? He can make a bunch of different things here. Mountain folk boots, which would be better. Crafting armor. We make him craft us a, we actually do this, and then just wait one level. That's 92 armor, which will be better than what he's currently offering, which is the 80 armor. I have no idea what this looks like, but you know, that's, to some people, that's totally irrelevant. There's also the Bring Dean here, which is level 13 also. And then there's nothing level 12. Okay, that's fine. Level 13 might actually do it though. We make a haft, all right. We make trousers at level 11, which is slightly better than what we're wearing now. That's worse. That's obviously better because level 30. Assassin's trousers there, which is also plus three. So Griffin should be, yeah, it's medium weight. Assassin's is light gear. But they're both level 30, so I guess it just depends on what perks you take. Plus 350 vitality. But no Quen or Igni sign since you're right, because that's a that's based on the runes we applied to it. Um this would be Resistance damage from monsters, seven percent. Okay. And just a flat five percent sign intensity. Items must be upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Oh, so you wear them together. I got you. Bonus for three pieces here, but then the items must be upgraded to Grandmaster. You can upgrade specific items? I did not know that. Carvery trousers are worse. So, in general... Now, if we had the ability point in Griffin... We don't currently, but we could. We have available ability points. I'm not spending too long on this, aren't I? 
And I can't do any of these runes because I can't make a bare rune, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I think instead of buying his level appropriate gear, I think we just make one that's going to fit us better. So, you know, whatever this turns out to be. So either we make the Ard Skeleton Akaten, which looks pretty good, like 30% resistance to bludgeoning and slashing. That's pretty good. Or the Salmon Brigadine, which gives us a slightly reduced bludgeoning and slashing, but also resistance to piercing. But that's medium weight gear. Is this lightweight? That is light gear. Okay. We currently have the perk for light gear. I know eventually we're going to need to move to medium or heavy, but I kind of like the idea of staying in light, if only because I think the weight. No, no, the weight is. Oh, hold on. Yeah, the weight is more for medium gear, which makes sense. Weight 6.34 versus 2.65, which means that we'll be able to move around a lot better, I think. Yeah, let's go for the Ard Skellig. I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and make that. It's only 92 crowns, so it's not too bad. Thank you. And so that's going to be waiting in our inventory for us. Do we want to make the level 13 pants? We have level 13 pants. Do we have level 13 pants? Level 11 pants. Um, sure, we can make the Assassin's Trousers. I thought we already had Assassin's Trousers on us. We can't check that right now. But I could have sworn we already had that. In which case, making them would be a waste. Assassin's Gauntlet's here. I like the increased crit chance. Apparently, we don't have right now. And a chance to find additional herbs. Okay, that's fantastic. I will build that right now. And we don't have the recipe for anything better until level 30. So, yeah, that's fine. We'll go ahead and build that right now. In fact, we'll apply that um, in short order. No items to repair because we repaired everything. Um, we have 919 right now. Do we need to make anything else? I think we're fine right now, right? Unless you wanted brand new pants, but I think otherwise... Do we even have brand new pants? Oh, we sold the Assassin's Trousers. That's interesting. We must have found something better then. That's not what the crafting says, though. Crafting says the current Assassin's Trousers here are better, doesn't it? says it increases vitality but there's no pluses to anything else so it's hard to tell why it would give us an increased vitality but since there's no other pluses my guess would be we are already wearing assassin's trousers it just isn't giving us this bonus which is plus 180 in what we currently have so it currently gives us what um if I'm doing the math right, 120, something like that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to build it. Okay, so we're good with what we have right now. Thank you kindly. So long. And then let's go ahead and look at our inventory here and see what we are wearing. We are currently wearing Assassin's Trousers, but for some reason the vitality is lower. Not made by a good enough um, armor, maybe? Hard to tell. There we go. So I like these gloves. Critical hit chances increase. So what is these? Oh yeah, these are junk. Comparatively, just based on the bonuses. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, let's get a move on then. Spent way too long on that. Where are we going next? Right, we're going to fast travel back down and then go to... Probably that one next. Once we, I guess we fast travel to Hangman's Alley, that should do. Okay, so go ahead and run back down here. Jump over that, thank you. And nothing else I need to sell in this general area. Probably shouldn't have costume mistake on my, as my active quest. I suppose we do need to talk to the mage, um, Kira, right? 
to go talk to Kira and see what it is about the stuff that made her want us to get it, even though it's not magical at all. I suppose we could do that. Oh, we're kind of working our way down to her, right? Is she in that general vicinity? I suppose we could make that our active quest, and then we'll know for sure. Let's go ahead and do that. So, not costly mistake, not scavenger hunt. Though cat school, we'll need to do that one for sure. Um, so it was secondary quest, I believe. Favor for a friend. There you go. Track that quest, and then go back to the map and see where that's at. Yeah, so we do that question mark there, and then we'll go over to her. Okay. Um, get out of here. Thank you. Hard to tell what that question mark is going to be. Could be anything. I'm going to go for hidden treasure. That seems most likely. Or guarded treasure. So Hangman's Valley is going to be close enough, I think. Okay, then we go this way. I'm really hoping that at some point we're going to find an alchemist that actually gives us stuff, but the nearest alchemist is going to be quite a ways away. I feel like I take my horse and go directly there, but we do want to take care of all these question marks because who knows what they give, give us. Give us great recipes, wonderful armor, hard to tell. Could be a little bit of everything. All good stuff, I'm sure. This rain just lasts forever, doesn't it? It is 5 p.m. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, some kind of guarded something. Okay, save here. We haven't actually saved in a while, so now's a good time as any. Most likely going to be magical, so silver sword out. And let's go. Bandit camp. Okay, never mind. Steel sword out. All right, deserters. Oh. Okay. We need to find a better way to take these guys when they have... Um... Let's try R to try to knock his shield away, maybe? Yeah, that kind of worked. That totally worked, actually. Not just kind of. That definitely worked. Okay. Learned something new today. Always good to try to learn something new every day. And today I learned that R can be used to knock away someone's shield so that he's not such a pain in the ass. Oh, and then of course there's something here. Moonstone, beast clothing, a career blade. Probably not as good as what we currently have, but let's read this. Okay, didn't we already read this piece of clothing? Yeah, the werewolf hide and everything like that. Could have sworn we've already read this, but okay. Read it again. There's that. And then we'll go ahead and head over to the mage and see what she has to say for herself. I haven't seen that in a while, Ariana. Hopefully that means that other things we haven't seen in a while are going to be... No, it's pink grape. Already new pink grape with the thing. Belay's fruit, man. That's what I want. We only have the one potion. As I think we only have one potion that I don't have all the ingredients for. And all we need is blaze fruit. That's it. That's all we need. For some reason, though, I cannot find it for the life of me. And I will stop talking about it as soon as we friggin' find it. Probably gonna have to make a special trip somewhere. Maybe the Witcher Wiki has a lot of interesting things on it. I should probably check that and see. That's a good thought. I might do that between episodes and see here. Okay, let's see what she has to say for herself. Send me on a wild goose chase for her groceries. I'll be greatly upset. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns, but first I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. 
but he must wait a bit. Huh. Well, what the heck, we got nothing but time, right? Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. She's really building up the mystery here. It's gotta be worth it, right? You've Sometime been patient, later. thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. She gonna pull a Cinderella? The cane within Kathel. Yep. The mice become horses. Though only two horses. Yeah, what did happen to the third mouse? Third mouse? What happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% .67 chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. <laughs> now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother. I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So... What do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the second option here because that's true. I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, then no. No, I don't think so. That's, um cute that doesn't ex actually explain what happened to the groceries either you're really just trying to distract me from this and um don't appreciate that you're gonna have to conjure up your prince too heard frogs are great for that you heard wrong it's princes who get turned into frogs it could happen to a witcher just as easily so get out of my sight she doesn't handle rejection well quest failed yeah all right that's how it goes. Okay, so what's our next bout here? Lots of okay, there's another bandit camp there. Another question mark, another question mark. Question mark. All the way down. Oh, we said we we're gonna go and get a boat, right? So yeah. Let's go. We can probably do one more bandit camp before we're gonna have to end the episode, so let's go ahead and run over there real fast, kind of. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's funny there's no stamina bar for Geralt, but he can only go... Um... No, actually, he's booking it pretty far. Oh, there we go. He ran out even though I was still holding down shift. Ah, well. So it goes. But yeah, there's no stamina bar for him. You can tell when the horse is getting tired, but not Geralt. I suppose... They expect you to go ahead and call on the horse when you're going to do long runs like this. I expect this to be that much longer of a run. There we go. Here's the bandit camp. Sort out. Or did I actually kill all the guys here and then we're just missing the... Uh... Yeah, this fire's out. Okay, so what's... Oh, because I didn't loot the things here. So sulfur, pure silver. That's it. That was it? Okay. What's the next question mark then? It's one right up there. All right, and then after this we'll meditate because that's always a good idea not to go running around during the dark for to see what I'm doing. Though again, probably not gonna actually get dark until like, what, 11? Something like that. Oh, hold on. There's a notice up here. What does this say? Beware of pirates. Their camps to dot the coast like murderous pustules. Okay. Appreciate that, random well-wisher. Like, 
pustules. That's some colorful language there. The education system here must be incredible. Oh, hey, look. Pirates. Hello, pirates. I'd like to take some of your treasure. Yar. Bad idea. That. Oh. Okay. Take care of the archer first. Oh. Okay. There's a lot of guys here. A lot of pirates. Okay, let's take care of the archer first. Bye bye, archer. Go ahead and eat some of that. Okay, how about eating some honeycomb too? Too many cricket. Archers, man. Hold on. There's another one. There we go. Chop off his arm. It's actually what they used to do to archers is. Actually, they used to chop off their hands, but same general principle. There we go. Chopped his head off. Probably more extreme than they're used to. Um, did you guys like to give up? Oh, I was actually expecting that to be fire. Oh, and he was on the ground, so he just ended it. Yeah, he didn't need that arm anyway, right? I mean, granted, you know, most pirates prefer to lose the legs so they get the, you know... A cool peg leg. But without an arm, I mean, you need some pretty cool prosthetics that way. Yeah, see? Peg legs. Two of them, even. That took way more damage on me than I thought it was going to, but I blame the archers for that. They really made me kind of into a pincushion there. But alright. Um, I don't think there's anything gonna, really going to be here. Well, Pirates notes they might have actual treasure. Not a silver base and a ruby brooch on the bottom means Queen Zulu's treasure really is somewhere around here. Maybe in the hold of one of those wreck ships off the west coast, but we can't check them at the moment. Waves are too high. Well, not to mention the drowners and who knows what else. We could track it, and it doesn't have a skull of death on it, so that's a good sign. So, alright, I'll go ahead and loot all these wonderful pirate bodies, but in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. This has been Witcher 3. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.